Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mel Soul with your Monday Rewind. News about golf around the world that happened last week and even prior to that. So PGA Tour was not in operation this week. So I'm going to bring you, first of all, the European Tour. And my congratulations must go out to Francisco Molinari, who won his home Open, the Italian Open. Last, the week before last, Jus Luton won the Dutch Open. And I don't see anywhere where that has happened in the past, where two consecutive weeks have been won by the homegrown player to win their Open Championship. Uh, my thoughts immediately went out to the Canadians who've been waiting for a homegrown champion since 1954 when Pat Fletcher won the Canadian Open. So Graham Dillette, let's hope 2017 will be your year to win the Canadian Open. Web.com tour, great news about Andrew Beef Johnson. Don't you love this guy? Even his name is hilarious. Looks like a UPS driver, plays golf like a superstar. He's got his PGA Tour card, and we will see him in action both on the European Tour and the PGA Tour. He hasn't put his schedule out yet, but I imagine it'll be kind of 50-50 uh, with both. So I, for one, am looking forward to seeing that. LPGA, it was the Evian Masters, and uh, the winner, Inji Chung, with an amazing minus 21, a world record. There is no male or female player that has shot lower in a major championship. So congratulations to her. Records are there to be broken. And uh, Jason Day's minus 20 at the PGA Championship last year no longer is the best round in major championships. On the senior tour, Michael Thompson won the senior tour. But what I am thrilled about is my good friend David Frost shot a 65 in the last round of Pebble Beach to jump all the way up to seventh spot. David, we need more 65 for you, boy. My final subject today is about players and coaches. Yanni Singh yesterday made an announcement that she is going back to her former coach, Gary Gilchrist, who took her to the number one spot in the world. After he had got her to number one, all of a sudden Gary wasn't good enough and she changed to Claude Harmon and Claude Harmon the third and Claude is a great instructor but obviously there was not a connection there and Yanni plunged in her game. She is now going back to Gary Gilchrist. Tiger Woods had Butch Harmon. Butch Harmon took Tiger to the number one spot in the world and Tiger was at that point a phenom. All of a sudden Butch wasn't good enough and he changed to Hank Haney. Hank did a great job as well. Tiger won more major championships under Hank than he did under Butch. But all of a sudden, Hank wasn't good enough and he changed to Sean Foley. After Sean Foley, we had Como. I don't understand these players. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a coach, sometimes I understand you get tired of hearing the same old, same old. You know, don't forget to get your way through. Don't forget to work on the extension. If you like your instructor, stick with him. And let, it, let me tell you this. If you feel that it, it's getting stale, don't be afraid to say to your instructor, hey, let's switch it up a bit. I'm getting a bit bored with these lessons the way they are. Let's switch it up. You want your coach to know. You don't want to just suddenly disappear and find out later that you know your, your, your great student has gone to somebody else. So if you find an instructor that you like, there's a connection, you like the person personally, you think he's a good instructor, stay with him. If you're not happy, mix it up. I guarantee you, your golf game will not go down the tubes as Tiger and Yanni Singh's games did. I will see you tomorrow on course management Tuesdays. So stay tuned.